In this video, I will show you how to put Siri, personal assistant, onto any third or fourth generation iPhone or iPad Touch. Uh, this also works with any version of the iPad. Um, you just have to have a jailbroken version of iOS 5. Um, on this particular device, I'm using iOS 5.1.1. I earlier today I went through the process to confirm that it works and this is the uh, full version of Siri you will be getting it works perfectly um, and you can see here I will show you uh, I'm on 5.1.1 I'm on AT&T I already uh, added Siri to this phone. This is a regular iPhone 4 that I put it on. I will start Siri up just to show you. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Siri, your virtual assistant. What time is it? It's 12.58 a.m. Okay, just showing you really quickly that Siri is on here and it is working. Um, uh, since I already have it on here, of course, I will show you the, gel br the, um, the Siri process on my iPhone 3GS, which I don't have it on yet. Here's a jailbroken iPhone 3GS. It has iOS 5.1.1 on it, just as my iPhone 4 does. Now, if only the single focus. There we go. The screen doesn't come out quite as pretty as the iPhone 4 screen does on here, but it'll still work. Anyway, first let me just show you. I am running iOS 5.1.1 on here currently if you have any other Siri port you need to remove that before putting this on um, I will be doing this video from start to finish so you can see real time exactly how long it takes to install and uh, set up. Uh, so you need to go to Siri and you're going to manage your sources. Manage. Ready? Don't know why that's reloading now, but okay. Sources, edit, add. So now I'm going to add the following source. I'm going to add repo.sireport.ru. R e p o. dot s i r i p o r t dot r u and here it is on the screen so we'll give it a moment to focus uh, come on focus damn it repo dot siri ports dot r u I'm gonna add source Now, I initially was going to show you this on the iPhone 4, although my computer with a webcam literally crashed just as I finished the process. So, starting over, showing you the recording of me doing this on the 3GS. We're Trinicidia. Now, all I have to do is search. And now I'm going to search for Siri port. Siri port. S I R I P 
P-O-R-T. Let's give my camera a moment to focus again. Uh, you're going to do Siri Port Original. Um, if you have an iPad, you would do Siri Port iPad Original. This is an iPhone, so I'm going to do Siri Port Original. This is roughly a 90 megabyte download. If you have a slow internet connection, it may take a while. I have a pretty fast internet connection. Um, it doesn't take too long for me. 95 megabytes. Confirm. It's now going to download the file. This is the complete version of Siri. Identical to what you will get on a regular iPhone 4S or iPad 3. And just to give you a brief uh, info on what we're, what's going to happen once this is done downloading, um, it's going to respring Cydia, and uh, we're going to reboot the device. Uh, then once we restart, we go to the settings, and we download a certificate. And then we activate Siri a couple times by talking to it, saying hello, to get that certificate to activate. Sometimes it can take... Um, a few minutes, it can take as long as 5, 10, 15 minutes until it works, but once it does finally work, then it's going to work permanently from that point on. And you activate Siri by pressing and holding the home button. Once it is installed, you can ask it questions, you can have it create appointments, you can have it change appointments. Um, Siri, having Siri also adds a microphone to your keyboard. So now what Android users have been able to enjoy for a long time, you will be able to enjoy as an iPhone owner you will have the microphone on the keyboard so you can do voice dictation in any application on your iPhone. So this is going to take a couple more minutes for this portion to run. I'm guessing it's probably going to take a little bit longer than it did to to run on my iPhone 4 since the iPhone 4 does have a slightly faster processor. So while this is there we go. Oh, I'm finished. Configuring Siri port. Installed Siri port. Original. Reloading data. Reload Springboard. Okay, I will slide to unlock the device. I'm enabling location services, and I will use Siri. And I will start using the phone. And uh, from this point, we're going to go to the settings on the phone. Settings, uh, 
we're going to put Siri on. So I'm going to toggle that to on. And I'm going to choose enable Siri. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bo uh, back to the main menu in settings. Scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see Siri port dot ru original. You're going to tap on that and you're going to install certificate. Now as long as the Siri service data says online, this should always work without a problem. So um, I'm going to tap install certificate and I'm going to choose OK. Install. Install. Done. Now from here, I'm going to shut off the, the phone. I press and hold the power button, slid it, turned it off. Now we'll turn it back on again. So when it says it can't authenticate that it's, you know, you just continue with the install when you install the certificate. Just go through the prompts, ignore the warnings, any warning. And once we're back up and running, I will initiate Siri by just saying hello, hello to it, how's the weather, um, and I will wait until, and I will keep doing it until you get a response. If you're really, really, really lucky, it'll work right away. If you're not so lucky, like I was, wasn't as lucky with my iPhone 4, it'll take you a bunch of tries over, over several minutes or longer. But did eventually get it to work, and it's been working flawlessly since then on my iPhone 4. So there we go. All right, now let's try this out. I'm going to press and hold the home button. Let me double check Siri to make sure it's turned on. General Siri. Oh, I had to turn Siri back on again. So let me put it on. Enable Siri. And uh, go back to settings. Okay. All right. So press and hold the button. Hi, Siri. Hi, Siri. As you see, I'm not getting immediately lucky. See, it's waiting, waiting. You just stop it. Keep, keep, keep talking to Siri until you get a response. This could take several minutes. Hello. So you keep doing it. It could take several minutes. Eventually, you'll get it to go. But as you can see, I did get it going on my iPhone 4 here. Hello. Siri says hi back. 
and you will get it going eventually. Hello? You just keep saying anything to get it to activate. So that way it authenticates its certificate. But anyway, that's all there is to it. Uh, once you're up to this level, just keep starting it and stopping it. Hello, weather? Keep starting it and stopping it until you get a response. It can take you a little while, but don't despair. You will get it running. Um, went through the, sa the same process on the iPhone 4 um, until it finally authenticated, and, it, and it's been running since then without a problem. Uh, let me show you how the... Uh, how's the weather? And let me show you uh, the dictation. As you see, there's um, a microphone on the keyboard now. If this thing will focus. Hello, how are you? That's very nice. How fast are cheetahs? If you like, sorry, okay, Benjamin. Just the web for Something's wrong. A Can you try cheetahs. that again? No. No, it looks like it's working now. How's the weather? Here's the forecast for today through this Wednesday. So, this one's up and running now. So, there you have it. Um, please uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my videos if you find them helpful. Um, I'm really enjoying this series. It's the full series. You're accessing the real servers, you're getting all the right answers. It's uh, pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm sure you'll love it. Uh, so, good luck.